After I've created a presentation, I want to make sure the show is as good as the content. I ensure excellence with a few final steps, which I'll show you now. First, I preview the show on my computer to make sure it looks the way I want it to. I can start the show by pressing F5, or I can click the Slideshow tab, and in the Start Slideshow group, I click From Beginning. Here's the first slide. I click the mouse to move from one slide to the next. Sometimes I use the Slideshow toolbar instead, which appears button by button as I point to each in the lower left part of the screen. In addition to the previous and next buttons, which I can use to navigate through my slides, I can click this button to navigate to a particular slide. Whether I'm previewing or presenting, this is handy when I want to jump ahead or go back to a slide that I've passed. There are other options here that are helpful when I present. For instance, to emphasize something, I can highlight it or use a pen to point to or outline it. When I've finished reviewing the show, I reach a black screen and click to return to normal view. At any time during the show, I can press Escape to do the same thing. Next, I want to make sure the slides don't contain typos. So I click the Review tab, and on the Proofing group, I click Spelling. The Spelling dialog box stops at misspelled or unrecognized words. Here it's found the word Happy, which needs another P. If a suggested change is correct, I click Change. When you see the message, The Spelling Check is Complete, click OK. I'd like one of my teammates to look at the slides before I present them. Prior to sending my presentation out for her review, I'll add a comment to her on a slide. To do this, I display the slide. On the Review tab, in the Comments group, I click New Comment. My name and the date appear in a comment box, where I can type my comment. To send the presentation for my teammate's review, I point to the Microsoft Office button, point to Send, and click Email. Then I send the file as an email attachment. When I receive the file back from my teammate, she's added her own comments, which I can review by clicking the Next and Previous buttons on the Review tab. When I'm through reading comments, I can click the Delete arrow and delete each comment individually, or delete all of the comments in the presentation. Next, I want to print out my notes so that I can refer to them when I present. But first, let me make sure they look as I expect. To do this, I click the View tab and in Presentation Views, I click Notes Page. If I want, I can select the text and make formatting changes using commands on the mini toolbar that appears. I just need to remember that any text that overflows the placeholder won't print. To print the notes page, I click the Microsoft Office button, point to Print, and click Print Preview. In the Page Setup group, under Print What, I can select Note Pages to print the pages. Notice that this is also where I can print handouts. Handouts are the view of the slides that you print out to give to your audience. For example, I can click the Three Slides Per Page option, and I see that it displays miniatures of the slides included in the presentation, and also lines for note-taking. And here's what Four Slides Per Page looks like. I can click a slide to zoom in, and click again to zoom out. To add a header and footer to the handout pages, in the Print group, I click Options, and then Header and Footer. I click Header, and type Annual Meeting. The preview shows me where the header will appear. Then I click Apply to All. And there's the header on the handout page. I click the Options button again, and this time, point to Color Grayscale to see my printing options. I choose Color when I'm connected to a color printer and want to print in color. Grayscale to print in shades of gray, and pure black and white when I want to make sure the slides are readable and save ink at the same time. To print the handouts, I click Print. Note that from the Print dialog box, I have some additional printing options. I can also change my selections if I want to. When I'm ready, I click OK to print. My presentation is ready. But I have one last thing to do. Package the files to CD so that I have everything in one place. For a demo on using this feature, see the link in the article associated with this demo.